Good evening, graduates, dignitaries, colleagues, family and friends. Welcome to the commencement ceremonies celebrating Coburg Collegiate Institute's Class of 2021. My name is Christine Stone and it is my pleasure to be your Director of Ceremonies this evening. At KPRDSB, we respectfully acknowledge that the land on which we gather and learn daily is the treaty and traditional territory of the Mississauga First Nations. We're grateful for our relationship with the First Nations of this territory, for their care for and teachings about the land, the water, and all our relations. As people of the Williams Treaty, we continue our journey to strengthen our understanding of our treaty relationship and how to move forward in a good way. We acknowledge the contributions and accomplishments of all Indigenous people across Turtle Island, current and throughout history. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. The filming of this event is occurring in a closed studio so we can safely speak to you without our protective equipment. Graduation is a very special milestone in the lives of our students, and so it represents the most important opportunity for all of us to be able to focus on your numerous and significant achievements. Grads, we're deeply saddened that the circumstances have prevented us from being together for this occasion, but nonetheless, it is a day to celebrate. Without further ado, then, I would like to introduce some important guests from the school, board, and community who wish to extend their greetings and congratulations. James Brake, Superintendent of Student Achievement, Trustees Jane Clausen Janinga and Terry Brown, Philip Lawrence, Member of Parliament, David Pacini, Member of Provincial Parliament, John Henderson, Mayor of the Town of Coburg, and James Patnell, our Principal of CCI. We'll begin with Superintendent Brake. Good evening, everyone. My name is James Brake, and I am Superintendent of Education for the Coburg Collegiate Institute Family of Schools. And I'm very happy to be here this evening to offer my congratulations to the 2021 graduating class of Coburg Collegiate. Thank you to all parents, staff, and community who have come together to do the work that needs to be done to support our graduates as they head off into the world. I know that this graduation is not a graduation that is, is being celebrated in a way that we had all hoped for. But I hope that in this, there's some learning for us. It's not about the difficulties that we face in this world, it's about how we respond to those difficulties. And I know that the resilience that we've all shown in the time of pandemic to afford ourselves the opportunity to come together even in this virtual format to celebrate our graduates for the hard work that they put into in their years here at secondary school at Coburg Collegiate. I thank you for your efforts. I thank you for your dedication and your commitment. And I know that as you go forward as graduates of our system, you'll take that uh, desire for, for achievement, that desire for success, and you will be making a difference in the world and we'll be proud of you as graduates of Coburg Collegiate Institute. Once again, congratulations to the graduates of Coburg Collegiate Institute, the class of 2021. Graduates, parents, guardians, Principal Patnell, Vice Principal Herbert Carey, Vice Principal Wunderlich, Superintendent Brake, family, teachers, staff members, Trustee Brown, extended family and friends. Sean Anker said, the most successful people see adversity not as a stumbling block, but as a stepping stone to greatness. 
I am pleased to bring you greetings on this special occasion. As trustees, it has been our honour and privilege to support you throughout your public education journey and to recognise your accomplishments here today. I truly believe you all deserve extra credit for completing your secondary education under these, the most trying circumstances in the history of public education. You have learned skills and faced obstacles that were unknown, even for last year's graduates. You each had to face challenges never encountered previously, but you rose to the occasion and came out on top. You showed strength, resilience, and determination. We are so proud of you for that. Each of you began high school a scared and or nervous grade eight graduate. You went from the top of the pecking order to the bottom, so to speak. But you rose to the occasion and today you are leaving your high school days behind as young adults. You may not have the power to inspire the entire world going forward, but then again, who knows? But you do have the power to try to achieve success for yourselves. My desire is for each of you to do all that you can to fulfill your potential. Remember that in life, it is often mistakes which will lead to our greatest accomplishments. Congratulations, graduating class of 2021. Hello, my name's Terry Brown, and I am one of two elected school board trustees representing Northumberland County West. I'd like to take this time to thank Principal Patno for having me here today. It gives me great pleasure to bring the graduating class of 2021 greetings from the Kawartha Pine Ridge District School Board. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our support staff, our teaching staff, and our school administrative team for the great job they have done transitioning back and forth between in-person learning and virtual learning and working hard to reach all of the COVID-19 protocols. Thank you, CCI staff. To the graduating class of 2021, graduates, I hope that in 20 or 30 years from now, you look back on these times as being unique in world history. To graduate from a high school during a global pandemic is something to be truly proud of, something worth remembering and something we're sharing with your children, grandchildren, nieces and nephews. Your graduating class will be part of school history. On behalf of the elected school board trustees, congratulations and good luck in your future endeavors. Thank you very much. Philip Lawrence, your member of parliament from Northumberland, Peterborough South. Congratulations to all the graduates at Coburg Collegiate. It's always an amazing accomplishment but even more so in these difficult times. I can't wait to see all the great works you'll accomplish in the coming months and years. Congratulations, guys. Hey, CCI grads, it's your member of Provincial Parliament, David Pacini here, wanting to wish all of you congratulations on graduating. You made it. It's been a very difficult past number of years on all of us, but especially on all of you as you've navigated through high school and graduated amidst these difficult times we find ourselves in. Special thank you, of course, to your teachers, to the school, school staff, volunteers, the board, everybody who's helped get you to where you are today, who's helped shape the person that you've become. And of course, your parents and friends who've supported you along the way. Wherever you end up in this exciting next chapter, we wish you the best, be it college, university, the trades, starting work, or taking a year off. Whatever you end up doing, I wish you the best. I hope to see many of you around our community, hopefully starting up businesses, getting employed locally. But again, wherever you end up on this exciting next chapter of your lives, on behalf of the Government of Ontario, congratulations. We wish you all the best. Good evening. I'm Mayor John Henderson, representing the town of Coburg. Tonight is indeed a special evening as I bring greetings from Colbert Council, CAO Tracy Vaughn, and senior staff. So graduates, whether you're off to university, college, trade programs, business, entrepreneurial spirit type programs, or even such as myself many years ago doing a victory lap, I wish to congratulate you. I want to leave you with a profound message. All of you have a bright future. I don't know where your paths will go and where they will take you, 
but I can ensure you're going to have magical moments to celebrate. I hope and trust you'll bring your energy, your focus, and your talent. And you might even consider one day coming back to the town of Coburg. We need you, and we look forward to your leadership in the future. Again, congratulations. Trustee Brown and Trustee Klassen Janinga, Superintendent Brake, honored guests, teachers and support staff, family, friends, and of course, graduates. Welcome. We gather here this evening to graduate the class of 2021 from Coburg Collegiate Institute. This marks an important transition for the young people we are honoring this evening. The diplomas our graduates receive recognize and celebrate their years of hard work, commitment, dedication, and achievement. Today is a milestone in their lives and they deserve to be proud. It is a great honor for me to join all of you here this evening as the principal of Coburg Collegiate Institute. Today marks the beginning of my second year at CCI and it has been both a busy and exciting time. I've been overwhelmed by the sense of school community here at Coburg Collegiate Institute. I have also reconnected with many individuals who are CCI grads and proudly carry on the tradition of excellence that is at the heart and soul of our school. So many wonderful programs and activities happen at Coburg Collegiate Institute, and the reason they happen is because of the amazing people that walk through the doors of CCI every day. Without all of them, the school will be just a building, but we make it a community. This evening, I would like to recognize the efforts of the teaching, support staff, and vice principals at our school. They are superb professionals who work very hard to provide a safe environment and the best learning opportunities for our students. They put in countless hours, work diligently to meet the needs of all learners, and hold themselves to the highest academic standards. The staff at our school care about our students, our school, and our community. They are a part of the memories of our grads that they take with them as they graduate. They have made a difference in the lives of our children, and they deserve our thanks. Class of 21, I have thought long and hard about the words of wisdom I could pass on to you this evening. You are now about two months into real life, and that may be college, university, or the world of work. In high school, we are always talking to you about the real world and how we need to prepare you for the challenges that lie ahead. The funny thing about real life is that there are no longer daily objectives written on the board to guide you. Learning becomes more difficult to quantify and most real life tests are unannounced, especially those tests involving your character, ethics, and understanding of those around you. By the way, these types of tests will continue for the next 60 years or so, and the answers are not found in the back of the book. You will learn that your education will now take on a different meaning. The most important lessons you will learn may happen in the most unexpected places, and sometimes from the most unexpected people. These life lessons may happen as you venture out on your own for the first time and learn what it is like to be truly independent. Lessons will often come disguised as opinions and sometimes from people that you are not particularly interested in learning from. However, listen carefully to those unscripted and spirited opinions as they will help to develop who you will become and define your belief system. Also graduates, remember when you thought your parents didn't know anything about anything? Watch how incredibly smart they will become over the next 15 years or so. It turns out that your parents are pretty skilled at picking up on real life lessons, usually because they have been there themselves and understand what you are going through. Continue to talk with and listen to your folks. They have learned from their mistakes and they may save you some stress and anxiety along the road of life. As you go out into the real world and make your way, remember the core values we taught you here at CCI, community, respect, and excellence. Instead of trying to be the best in the world, strive to be the best for the world. The kindness and compassion that you show for those around you will help our world to become a kinder and more compassionate place for us all. Congratulations to the class of 2021. All the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. And now the moment you've been waiting for, the virtual rewarding of the diplomas, awards, and bursaries. 
Our first graduate this evening is Jasmine Akinredoy, who's receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario scholar, and is on the honour roll. Malena Andrzejewski is receiving her Ontario Secondary School Diploma, was an Ontario scholar, and is on our honour roll. Sydney Armstrong is receiving her Ontario Secondary School Diploma and was on our honour roll. Lyric Arthur is receiving her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Austin Ashby is receiving their Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Ainsley Atanasoff is receiving her Ontario Secondary School Diploma, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our honour roll. Natasha Banks is receiving her Ontario Secondary School Diploma, She's an Ontario Scholar and was on our honour roll. Bradley Barker is receiving his OSSD, was an Ontario Scholar and was on the honour roll. In addition, Bradley is receiving the Burnett Scholarship and the Gilliard Math Award. Congratulations, Brad. Ava Bedard is receiving her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and was on our honour roll. Additionally, Ava's receiving the Gilliard Math Award. Congratulations, Ava. Radha Biaroja is receiving her Ontario Secondary School Diploma, an IB Certificate. She was an Ontario Scholar, was on our Honour Roll, and additionally is receiving the Fern Blodgett Sunde Award and the Lawrence S. Hagen Memorial Award. Congratulations, Radha. Carly Billado is receiving her Ontario Secondary School Diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and was on the Honour Roll. Carly's also receiving the Johns Scholarship. Congratulations, Carly. Madison Boyer is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma and is an Ontario Scholar. Kyle Brewster is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, was an Ontario Scholar, and was on our honour roll. Shiloh Buckle is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, is an Ontario Scholar, and was on our honour roll. Tyler Bujold is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, was an Ontario Scholar, and was on our honour roll. Caitlin Caffrey is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, was an Ontario Scholar, and was on our honour roll. And additionally, Caitlin is receiving the Northumberland Paramedics Award. Congratulations, Caitlin. Kieran Caldwell is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, was an Ontario Scholar, was on our honor roll and is also receiving the Wainwright Award. Congratulations, Kieran. Sydney Cameron is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, was an Ontario Scholar, was on our honor roll and is also receiving the G. Lander Award. Congratulations, Sydney. Ella Campbell is receiving her OSSD and Specialist High Skills Major Recognition. Kyla Campbell is receiving her Ontario Secondary School Diploma, is an Ontario Scholar, was on our honour roll and is also receiving the BMO Business and Leadership Community Award. Congratulations, Kyla. Brooke Karskaden is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, was an Ontario Scholar and was on our honour roll. Emma Cavanaugh is receiving the OSSD Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar, is on our honour roll and is also receiving the DeVoe Award. Congratulations, Emma. Christopher Chandler Long is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Alyssa Charles is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, was an Ontario Scholar, on our honour roll, and is also receiving the Clay Elliott Attitudes for Education Scholarship. Congratulations, Alyssa. John Chrysler is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar, on our honour roll, and is also receiving the Lions Club Award, Rotary Club Character Award, Rotary Club Co-op Award, and the Rotary Club Technical Award. Congratulations, John. Justin Clapperton is receiving the OSSD and Specialist High Skills Major Recognition. Justin Clark is receiving the OSSD. Jackson Cole is receiving the OSSD, an IB certificate, was an Ontario Scholar, was on the honor roll, and is receiving the Spencer Lavelle Award. Congratulations, Jackson. Emily Collins is receiving the OSSD, was an Ontario Scholar and on our honor roll. Maya Komire is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, an IB certificate, French immersion recognition, 
was an Ontario Scholar Honor Honor Roll and is receiving the JCOR Student Equality Award. Congratulations, Maya. Eloise Cooper is receiving the OSSD French Immersion Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar and was on our Honor Roll. Samuel Corp is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Madison Cowan is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and was on our Honor Roll. Ethan Cox Hen is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. John Crosby is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and was on our Honor Roll. Nathaniel Cullen is receiving his Ontario Secondary School Diploma and IB Certificate. He's an Ontario Scholar and was on our Honor Roll. He's also receiving the Justin Williams Scholarship. Congratulations, Nathaniel. Sophie Cunningham is receiving her OSSD, French Immersion Recognition, the Ontario Scholar Recognition, was on our Honor Roll, and is also receiving the Gilliard Math Award, the W. Ross Pinkerton Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Sophie. Harry Daniel is receiving the OSSD, an IB certificate. He was an Ontario Scholar, and he was on the Honor Roll. Additionally, Harry's receiving the Mrs. Lloyd History Award. Congratulations. Gundaga Dogavitas is receiving her OSSD, an IB certificate, and was an Ontario Scholar. Gundaga is also receiving the Lawrence S. Hagen Memorial Award and the Northumberland Hills Association of Realtors Award. Congratulations, Gundaga. Hunter Davey is receiving his OSSD, was an Ontario Scholar, was on our honor roll, and is also receiving the Stallwood Homes Construction College Bursary. Congratulations. Megan Davey is receiving her OSSD and was on our honor roll. Sophia Delacasa is receiving her OSSD, uh, her full IB diploma, a French immersion recognition, was an Ontario scholar and was on the honor roll. Jack Deramo is receiving his Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Adam Diamante is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar on our Honor Roll. Lola Dixon is receiving her OSSD. She was an Ontario Scholar and she was on our Honor Roll. Hallie Dingsdale is receiving her OSSD, was an Ontario Scholar on our Honor Roll and is also receiving the Leadership and Dance Award. Congratulations, Hallie. Liam Domrose is receiving the OSSD and Specialist High Skills Major Recognition. Jack Donahoe is receiving his Ontario Secondary School Diploma and was on our Honor Roll. Benjamin Dowler is receiving his OSSD, was an Ontario Scholar and is on our Honor Roll. Courtney Drew is receiving her Ontario Secondary School Diploma She's an Ontario Scholar. She's receiving her full IB diploma, was on our honor roll, and additionally, Courtney's receiving the CCI IB Faculty Medal, the Major Michelle Knight Mendez Memorial Award, and the W. Ross Pinkerton Memorial Award. Congratulations, Courtney. Mitchell Driver is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma and was on our honor roll. Penelope Dupuy is receiving the OSSD. Rick Eagleson is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and was on our Honor Roll. Aliyah Everding is receiving the OSSD, was an Ontario Scholar, is on our Honor Roll, and is also receiving the W. Ross Pinkerton Memorial Scholarship, the CCI Student Legacy Award, the Dr. Lloyd Science Award, the Gilchrist Award for Excellence in Science, and the Governor General's Academic Medal. Congratulations, Aliyah. Clayton Farrow is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Aaron Ferguson is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, was on our Honor Roll, and is also receiving the Justin Williams Scholarship. Congratulations, Aaron. Savannah Ferreri is receiving the OSSD, an IB certificate. She was an Ontario Scholar and was on our Honor Roll. Mary Fertile is receiving the OSSD, was an Ontario Scholar and was on our Honor Roll. Keshava Field Quinn is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and is on the Honor Roll. 
Aidan Fleming is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Melinda Forbes is receiving the OSSD, an IB Certificate, French Immersion Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honour Roll, and is also receiving the W. Ross Pinkerton Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Melinda. Owen Foster is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our Honour Roll. Ethan Fournier is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Alexis Fife is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our Honour Roll. Alexander Gallanter is receiving the OSSD, IB Certificate, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our Honour Roll. Lilix Gallant is receiving the OSSD. Cole Galt is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our Honour Roll. Carter Gansen is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our Honour Roll. Daryl Giroux is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Megan Gertz is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on the Honour Roll. Brooklyn Gibson is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, is an Ontario Scholar, and on our Honour Roll. Jensen Glenn is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, is an Ontario Scholar, is on the Honour Roll, and is also receiving the Northumberland Building Materials Limited Award. Congratulations, Jensen. Emily Glober is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our Honour Roll. Braden Goodrich is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Joshua Gould is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and on our Honour Roll. Aidan Gorvat is receiving the OSSD. Drew Gord is receiving the OSSD. Nick Graff is receiving the OSSD, an IB Certificate, is an Ontario Scholar, and was on our Honour Roll. Hunter Grissom is receiving the OSSD. Hilary Groves is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, was on our Honour Roll, and is also receiving the Pamela Bevan Memorial Award and the W. Ross Pinkerton Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Hilary. Abby Grundy is receiving the OSSD. Emily Greico is receiving her OSSD. Katie Gite is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our Honour Roll, and is also receiving the Rayner Award. Congratulations, Katie. Elliot Haynes is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our Honour Roll. Skylar Haynes is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, on our Honour Roll, and is also receiving the Belden Bursary and the Gilliard Math Award. Congratulations, Skylar. Yara Haj Hassan is receiving the OSSD and is on our honor roll and is also receiving the Clay Elliott Attitudes for Education Scholarship. Congratulations, Yara. Cole Hale is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Alexa Hare is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, is an Ontario Scholar, was on our honor roll and is also receiving the Ball Foundation Award. Landon Harris is receiving the OSSD. Jordan Harrison is receiving the OSSD and is on our honor roll. Ethan Harwood is receiving the OSSD and is an Ontario Scholar. Jasmine Hasted is receiving the OSSD. Zachariah Haynes is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and is on the honor roll. Kristen Heideman is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, on our Honour Roll, is receiving an IB Certificate, and is also receiving the W. Ross Pinkerton Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Kristen. Alexis Henderson is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and on our Honour Roll. Grace Henderson is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, on our Honour Roll, and is also receiving the Lauren Poole Community Living Award. Congratulations, Grace. Taylee Herman is receiving the OSSD, 
is an Ontario Scholar and is on our honour roll. Cameron Hickman is receiving the OSSD. Lindsay Hicks is receiving the OSSD and is on our honour roll. Sydney Hoekstra is receiving the OSSD, an IB certificate, French Immersion Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar and is also receiving the Rotary Club Bursary. Congratulations, Sydney. Nicholas Hogan is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, was on our honour roll and is receiving the Justin Williams Scholarship. Congratulations, Nick. Scott Holmes is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and is on our honour roll. Theron Howard Day is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, on our honour roll, and is receiving the Stalwood Homes Construction Workforce Award. Congratulations. Logan Hosleader is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Harry Hughes is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our honour roll. Gabriella Ihe is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, on our honour roll, and is also receiving the Mrs. Lloyd History Award, the Northumberland County Bursary, and the W. Ross Pinkerton Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Gabriella. Keegan Isles is receiving the OSSD. Daniel Jackson is receiving the OSSD, is on our honour roll, and is an Ontario Scholar. Tucker Jendrzyk is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, on our honour roll. Erica Jensen is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on our honour roll and is also receiving the Belden Bursary. Congratulations, Erica. Shanna Lee Jiggins is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and is on our honour roll. Hannah Johnson is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, is receiving Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is on our honour roll, and is also receiving the Justin Williams Scholarship. Congratulations, Hannah. Leo Johnson is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, is an Ontario Scholar, and on our honour roll. Noel Kazanowski is receiving the OSSD, his IB certificate, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on the honour roll. Roberta Keery is receiving her OSSD, her full IB diploma, is an Ontario Scholar and on the honour roll. Emma Kelly is receiving her OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and is on the honour roll. Xavier Kernahan is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and is on our honour roll. Abigail Kernier is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and on our honour roll. Jimmy Kim is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our honour roll. Rachel Knott is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on the honour roll. Liam Coates is receiving the OSSD, an IB certificate, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our honour roll. Darian Kazai is receiving the OSSD. Blade Lachance is receiving the OSSD and Specialist High Skills Major Recognition. Regan Lalonde is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, on our honour roll, and is also receiving the Rotary Club Bursary. Congla congratulations, Regan. Grace Lawson is receiving the OSSD. Jaden LeBlanc is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honour Roll and is also receiving the Abigail Kempton Memorial Award. Congratulations, Jaden. Ji Han Lee is receiving the OSSD. Jenna LeFrancois is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on our Honour Roll. Taylor Legg is receiving the OSSD and is on the Honour Roll. Camden LaRue is receiving the OSSD, French Immersion Recognition, and is also receiving the Leadership and Dance Award. Congratulations, Camden. Tolvin Liu is receiving the OSSD, an IB certificate, is an Ontario Scholar, on the honour roll, and is also receiving the Major J.D. Burnett and Town of Coburg Citizenship Award, the Principal's Award for Student Leadership, the Rotary Club Scholarship, and the W. Ross Pinkerton Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Tobin. Abigail Lewis-Mahar is receiving the OSSD, 
is an Ontario Scholar and is on the Honour Roll. Aidan Little is receiving the OSSD and is an Ontario Scholar. Naomi Mack is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honour Roll and is also receiving the W. Ross Pinkerton Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Naomi. Hart Macklin is receiving the OSSD. Taylor Macklin is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on our Honour Roll. Isaac McLeod is receiving the OSSD. Mason Mahi is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma and is on our Honour Roll. Kira Mangard is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and is on our Honour Roll. Giulio Marotti is receiving the OSSD, French Immersion Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honour Roll. Brooklyn Martin is receiving her OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and is on the Honour Roll. Tyler Martin is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honour Roll and is receiving the OSSTF Education Award. Congratulations, Tyler. Jenna Martinello is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, is receiving her full IB Diploma, French Immersion Recognition, is on our Honour Roll and is also receiving the Lieutenant Governor's Community Involvement Award and the W. Ross Pinkerton Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Jenna. Angelina Martinez Piccini is receiving her OSSD. Tyson Martorino is receiving the OSSD. Emerson Massey is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, is on the Honour Roll, and is re receiving the Ulihan Math Award. Congratulations, Emerson. Ashley Maxey is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Sydney May is receiving the OSSD, an IB Certificate, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on the Honour Roll. Dante McBride is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our Honour Roll. Kylie McBride is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on the Honour Roll. Emily McCarthy is receiving her OSSD, her full IB Diploma, is an Ontario Scholar on our Honour Roll, and is also receiving the Abigail Kempton Memorial Award and the W. Ross Pinkerton Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Emily. Tyler McGill is receiving the OSSD. Emily McGovern is receiving the OSSD. Brianna McGregor is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on our Honour Roll. Amanda McIntosh is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honour Roll, and is also receiving the Belden Bursary and the Robert F. Macdonald Award. Congratulations, Amanda. Madeline McIntosh is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on our Honour Roll, and is also receiving the Orange Lodge Award. Congratulations. Olivia McLeod is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on the Honour Roll. Felicia McVitie is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Emily Mealing is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honour Roll, and is receiving the Abigail Kempton Memorial Award and the Estate of Agnes McNabb Award. Congratulations, Emily. Trevor Mears is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar and on the Honour Roll. Emma Melbourne is receiving the OSSD. Eve Melvanen is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and is on our Honour Roll. Joseph Manini is receiving the OSSD. Samantha Mitchell is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar and is on the Honour Roll. Matthew Montgomery is receiving the OSSD and is on our Honour Roll. Colby Morgan is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and is on our Honour Roll. Alexander Monroe is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honour Roll. Brady Monroe is receiving the OSSD. Leah Murray is receiving the OSSD. Eric Nareen is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on the Honour Roll. Jimmy Nguyen is receiving the OSSD, 
is an Ontario Scholar, is on the Honour Roll, and is receiving the Gilliard Math Award and the Sabek Innovative Plastics Award. Congratulations, Jimmy. Alexis Nicolau is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our Honour Roll. Brady Northeast is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on the Honour Roll. Lola Knott is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma and is on the Honour Roll. Grace O'Neill Watts is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, is receiving an IB Certificate and French Immersion Certificate. She's on our Honour Roll and is also receiving the Peggy Adamson Memorial Award, the Pochon Award, the Rotary Club Business Award, and the Rotary Club Interact Award. Congratulations, Grace. Abigail Parr is receiving the OSSD, an IB certificate. She's an Ontario Scholar on our Honour Roll and is also receiving the CCI Faculty Medal, the Pochon Award, the Rotary Club Interact Award, the 10,000 Villages Scholarship and the W. Ross Pinkerton Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Abby. Michael Pashard is receiving the OSSD and is an Ontario Scholar. Abby Pearson is receiving the OSSD. Tyson Pentland is receiving the OSSD. Lily Porter is receiving the OSSD, an IB certificate, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honour Roll, and is also receiving the Northumberland Road Builders Association Bursary and the W. Ross Pinkerton Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Lily. Jackson Priak is receiving the OSSD. Olivia Presner is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, is receiving an IB Certificate, French Immersion Recognition, is on the Honour Roll, and is also receiving the Independent Order of the Odd Fellows and Rebecca's Award. Congratulations, Olivia. Ivy Cleakley is receiving the OSSD and is on our Honour Roll. Jamie Raymond is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar on our Honour Roll and is also receiving the Northumberland Players Award for Drama and the VOS Theatre Award. Congratulations, Jamie. Sabrina Rennie is receiving the OSSD and Specialist High Skills Major Recognition. Brooke Robbins is receiving the OSSD and is on our Honour Roll. Tyler Robinson is receiving the OSSD and Specialist High Skills Major Recognition. Delphine Sareva Marson is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our Honour Roll. Joshua Saunders is receiving the OSSD, an IB Certificate, is an Ontario Scholar, on our Honour Roll. Olivia Scriver Chernek is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and on the Honour Roll. Michael Serio is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, on the Honour Roll. Ariana Shazad is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on our Honour Roll. Raven Schulist is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on our Honour Roll, and is also receiving the Canadian Federation of University Women's Club Award and the W. Ross Pinkerton Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Raven. Madeline Scalix is receiving the OSSD, the IB Certificate, is an Ontario Scholar and is on the Honour Roll. Louis Smith is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar and is on the Honour Roll. Madison Spencer is receiving the OSSD, French Immersion Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar and is on the Honour Roll. Lauren St. John is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honour Roll, and is also receiving the Willow Beach Naturalists Scholarship. Congratulations, Lauren. Taylor Stacey is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honour Roll. Olivia Stevenson is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honour Roll. Ashlyn Stewart is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, on the Honour Roll. Madeline Stewart is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honour Roll and is also receiving the Ruth Conlon Scholarship. Congratulations, Madeline. Kate Sutherland is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar and on the Honour Roll. 
Molly Sutherland is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar and is on our honour roll. Caitlin Taylor is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on the honour roll and is receiving the Beta Sigma Phi Award. Congratulations, Caitlin. Jake Taylor is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honor Roll, and is also receiving the David Calvary Memorial Award, the Ulihan Math Award, and the o OYAP Award. Congratulations, Jake. Lauren Taylor is receiving the OSSD, French Immersion Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on the Honor Roll. Austin Tedford is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar, and is on the Honor Roll. Hannah Thomas is receiving the OSSD and French Immersion Recognition. Alyssa Toms is receiving the OSSD, her full IB diploma. She's an Ontario Scholar and was on our Honor Roll. Amelia Touchburn is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar and is on the Honor Roll. Kelly Tran is receiving the OSSD, her IB certificate, and was on our honor roll. Danny Sukalis is receiving the OSSD and is on the honor roll. Mikey Umali is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. James Vandergast is receiving the OSSD and is on the honor roll. William Vaughn is receiving the OSSD, French Immersion Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar on the honor roll. Gavin Verge is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Niel Vierness is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma and is receiving also the Northumberland Labour Council Award. Congratulations. Logan Waite is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and is on the honor roll. Megan Wakelin is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and is on the honor roll. Harrison Walker is receiving the OSSD. Madison Walter is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, is an Ontario Scholar and is on the Honor Roll. Additionally, Madison's receiving the Concert Band of Coburg Award. Congratulations, Madison. Grace Waters is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honor Roll, and is also receiving the Leighton Dodge Award. Congratulations, Grace. Sawyer White is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honor Roll. Tristan Wilson is receiving the OSSD, an IB Certificate, is an Ontario Scholar and is receiving the Evelyn Phillip Award. Congratulations, Tristan. Matthew Woods is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition and is an Ontario Scholar. Jade Yagrinas is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and is on our Honor Roll. Rayleigh Zimmerman is receiving the OSSD, an IB certificate, is an Ontario Scholar on the Honor Roll, and is also receiving the Christine Matthews Scholarship and the W. Ross Pinkerton Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Rayleigh. Jonathan Zinke is receiving the OSSD, Specialist High Skills Major Recognition, and is also receiving the G. Lander Award. Congratulations, Johnny. Brooks Wierink is receiving the OSSD, is an Ontario Scholar and is on the Honor Roll. Alyssa Zwetslut is receiving the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, is an Ontario Scholar and is on the Honor Roll. Congratulations, graduates of 2021. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Stay safe always. Thanks for being a big part of CCI. Congratulations and best wishes on your future. Hello, graduated grade 12s of CCI. Hope you're all doing well. Wishing you all the best in your future endeavors. Way to go. You, 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 and you, and you, and you, and you. Congratulations, class of 21. Yay! yoo -hoo! <laughs> Congratulations to the CCI class of 2021. You have accomplished a lot in your time here, and I'm sure you're going to continue to do so in the future. And a few words to remind you to be kind, work hard, and have fun. Congratulations to all the graduates of 2021. You should be very proud of your accomplishments considering all we've been through. I know we are very proud of you. 
Félicitations et bonne chance à tout le monde à l'avenir. Hey grads, congratulations. We miss you here at CCI already. Hope you're doing well in all of your next adventures. Congratulations grads, all the best in all that you do. Congratulations from the English department. You guys are awesome. Congratulations, CCI Wolves. Way to go. You've had a tough couple of years and all the best to you in your future. Hi, grads. Congratulations and good luck with everything you have planned for the future. Congratulations, class of 2021. I hope you had a great time at CCI and I know you're off to do some wonderful things in whatever you decide to do. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. All the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, CCI Wolves. Continue dancing through life. Congratulations, everyone. Continue being amazing people and good humans. Bye. Congratulations, graduates. I hope you enjoy your future endeavors. Congratulations, CCI grads. You made it through such an extraordinary year last year, and I'm so proud of you. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Way to go, Wolves. Congratulations to all the graduates of 2021. All the best in your future endeavors and always remember to stay fly, even if you're not at CCI. Graduating class of 2021. You have faced senior high school in a way that has never been done before. You were challenged with online learning, back to in-class, then back to online, as well as societal struggles and fear in a pandemic. Yet you continue to face these challenges with hard work, tenacity, and empathy. It is only too perfect that you chose Jackson Cole for your valedictorian. I've had the privilege of knowing Jackson in his senior years, the one that no one has a bad word to say about, the student who never passes anyone without a hello, good morning, head nod, he participated in school spirit activities, worked hard to keep class morale up, and the one we could all depend on. He played sports and worked a part-time job at the YMCA and still found time to grow the best garlic in Ontario. When a world is faced with as many challenges as it was in the last two years, it was a true pleasure to see your faces in the hall and on the screen, to know with students like you, leaders like Jackson, the future looks good. Good evening, everyone, parents, family members, teachers, administration, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. I'd like to personally welcome everyone and thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch the commencement ceremony for the Cobra Collegiate Institute Class of 2021. My name is Jackson Cole, and I have the honor of being selected as the valedictorian for this graduating class. This honor is not one that I take lightly. I truly believe that any one of the members of this graduating class of 2021 could have been here before you today and would have done an excellent job at representing our students. This speaks volumes about the standards of excellence and role model citizens this high school has had a hand in creating during our four years here. I would like to begin by thanking our wonderful administrative staff, including and not limited to our principal, Mr. Patnall, our two vice principals, Mr. Wonderlich, Ms. Jordan, Ms. Wallace for stepping in at the beginning of the year, and our lovely secretaries down at the front desk. We all appreciate the amount of effort, dedication, and commitment you all had to keep us safe in such unprecedented times. And for that, we thank you. Next, I would like to give a special thanks to our custodial staff for dealing with us on a regular basis. I know you, you guys did a great job ensuring a safe and clean learning and work environment. You guys can ask my parents how hard it is to look after two teenagers, let alone a whole school of them, so you guys are great. And for that, we thank you. Last but certainly not least, I'd like to give a huge thanks to every single teacher that has been here over the last four years that have worked countless hours to ensure that every single student that stepped in their classroom five days a week feels welcome to a safe and positive learning environment. You could ask any one of these graduates here before us and they could recall an instance here at CCI where a teacher went out of their way to accommodate them. I can personally attest to this as well. An example of this exquisite accommodation of our teachers can be seen in my progression through the French program here over the last four years. Coming into high school, my French skills were not the best. I did decently in grade 9 and 10 French, but I decided to challenge myself in grade 11 and took IB French. I know all of you can empathize with me in having a moment of, oh dear, what have I gotten myself into in scenarios like this? 
I was in a class where there was only a handful of core students and the rest were emergent students. I felt like I was not going to be successful at all in this class, but my teacher ensured that we all understood what was going on and prior prioritized individual learning and success for every student in that class and made all students feel like they belonged in the classroom no matter what level they were at. As a class, we have had to be resilient. From the moment we first entered the halls of Cobra Collegiate Institute, we had been faced with adversity. Starting with the challenges every student faced going into high school in grade nine. The first year of high school presents an array of new faces, peoples, personas, and obstacles. Maybe the adversity you faced was stepping out of your comfort zone to join that club or team or making new friends in your classes. But I can assure you we made the best of it and we tried our hardest. Then came grade 10 and 11, which was the intermediate stage where we did not know where we fit in the hierarchy. We knew that the grade 12s were the seasoned veterans at the top and the grade 9s were the novices. But we didn't quite know where we fell into this dynamic. As we got older, we started to mature as students in the classroom and outside the classroom. We started to learn important life skills such as how to drive, how to cook, how to balance a job, school, and a healthy social life. Everything seemed so simple and content. Then we got our first glimpse of what the following year would have to bring. When we went on March break in the spring of 2020, we got the unfortunate news that the schools in Ontario would be closed for two weeks following the week of March 15th. Nobody really knew how to perceive this news. Little did we know at the time, we would just be entering a time that would be always referred to from now on as the Great Pause. Whether it be directly or indirectly, the pandemic's outreaching consequences has taken a toll on us in some way, shape or form. From the various lockdowns to not being able to see our friends, family and loved ones, to our educational experiences being limited, it is truly a time that we will not forget for the rest of our lives. Even though in this time it was very hard for any positives to outweigh the negatives of the situation, we as a student body in school found a way to make the best of it as much as we could. We did not let the over adversity overcome us, rather we used the adversity to help build our character. We returned for in-person learning for a while at the start of our grade 12 year, which allowed us to see some of our friends and teachers. But unfortunately, as health public, public health measures increased and gatherings were strictly limited, we transitioned back to a virtual delivery format. However, this being the case, our teachers' passions and gift for teaching could still be seen in our online classes, along with their pets, kids, and pajamas as well. Even though I'm sure all of you would have rather been in school in these times we were at home, this gave us more time to spend with our families and loved ones before we all embarked on our own and individual journeys. It really gave us time to appreciate everything we take for granted in times of normalcy. Therefore, I encourage all of you to cherish these fond memories that we shared together over the last four years. These are memories and experiences that will last a lifetime. Now, as we sit here about to embark on the scariest yet most exciting part of our lives, we can look back and say we finally made it. As we move forward, I would like to provide you with four guiding statements of wisdom. Firstly, I would like to encourage you to consistently reflect and be appreciative. The late Steve Jobs and co-founder and former chief executive officer of Apple once said, you cannot reconnect the dots looking forward, you can only connect them looking backwards. As a graduating class, we have, had, we have very bright futures ahead of us. We have future doctors, lawyers, nurses, teachers, firefighters, and many more honorable pursuits. But to truly appreciate where we are, we need to acknowledge what got us here. No matter where you go in life, remember what got you there, and most importantly, who got you there. Secondly, always remember to make wise choices. I think our families and surrounding support systems have done an excellent job in preparing us for the challenges that lie ahead of us, but there will always be situations that we have to rely on our own intuition. So I encourage you to make the wise decision. Thirdly, stay true to yourself and always be kind. Life moves very fast and it is very easy to get caught up in the humdrum nonsense that goes along with it. Don't lose track of your morals and values and treat everyone how you'd like to be treated. Finally, I would encourage you to take risks and not to be afraid of failure or mistakes. I once read a book known as Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and when I was reading it, a few words of wisdom stuck with me. The author Robert Kiyosaki iterates, winners are not afraid of losing, but losers are. Failure is part of the process of success. People who avoid failure also avoid success. 
As we are all pivotal members of the generation that is destined to surely have a major impact in the world, we should not feel, fear failure or mistakes, rather treat it as the point of growth and learning opportunity. There are going to be times of failure in our lives, it is inevitable, but please don't let failures be your downfall. These moments are all crucial stepping stones on your life journey and destined path. All in all, when you leave this presentation today, I want all of you to feel a sense of pride and accomplishment. Let this be a time of reflection for all of us. Remember all the extraordinary people you met. Remember all the important memories you've shared. Remember all the lifelong friendships you made. And most importantly, remember how handsome the valedictorian Jackson was. Congratulations, Cobra Collegiate graduates of 2021. Family, friends, and most importantly, to the CCI class of 2021 graduates. As a CCI vice principal, I would like to conclude our proceedings with a few words to CCI's graduates. As you embark on the next stage of your lives, with an acknowledgement to the work of Don Miguel Ruiz, I offer the following words of advice. First, be impeccable with your word. Speak with integrity. Say only what you mean and avoid speaking against yourself or to gossip about others. Second, don't take anything personally. Nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. Third, don't make assumptions. Find the courage to ask questions and to express what you really want. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstanding, sadness, and drama. Fourth, always do your best. Your best is going to change from moment to moment. It will be different when you are healthy as opposed to sick. Under any circumstance, Simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. Take pleasure and satisfaction in what you achieve. Whatever your next steps, see your time here as part of a lifetime of learning. Never stop being curious and interested in the world around you. Congratulations, CCI graduates. You have worked hard and deserve to be proud of your achievement. All the best in the future and good health to you all.